Welcome back guys, we have a look at Grigolashvili, amazing performance at the Paris Grand Slam. If you don't know who he is, he's the kind of guy who does these sorts of throws. And in my opinion, I think he's probably the best Georgian, he's probably one of the best in the world right now. Definitely becoming a legend of the sport, and his performance at Paris was something to behold. So we'll go through all the rounds and the final, and it should be good. First match here against Parodi from Italy. And one thing I like about Grigolashvili is... He's always looking for some sort of offense, whether it be on the feet or on the ground. And he's always similar to Ono Shaw here. He doesn't get off balance very often, doesn't go to the ground very often. He's always on his feet, which gives him the opportunity to be aggressive when he needs to. So he doesn't get any epons on the ground, but it sets up a lot of things. I think it puts a lot of pressure on his opponents, and it's just really nice to see. So here's a score coming up now. And the thing about Grigolashvili is he just kind of flows into techniques. It's really hard to see when he's going to make something happen. This Yagura Nage here, I mean, Parodi, he initiated it. He put the hand over the shoulder of Grigolashvili and he was just responding by grabbing the belt and then it just led into the technique. So he's got a wide arsenal of throws. Combinations are incredible. Counters as well. I mean, He's a real treat to watch at the moment. Looks for a Seoi Nage here, doesn't get it. A little bit of Mariami here. Watch the fade back into the Tomoe Nage. Goes to plant his right foot on the ground, but doesn't. Leads into the Tomoe Nage. I don't think I've ever seen Grigolash really score with his Tomoe Nage, but he's the kind of guy he just throws out all sorts of stuff. You're going to see it later. He's got an Ashiguruma that just comes out of nowhere. And this is the Ipon for round one. Just sensational stuff. The pressure he puts on people, you know, the up and down movement. Gets really low on people and then explodes upwards. Defends well here around opposite side now. So now he's gone from his traditional side to a right-handed grip. And that big arm around the neck to score the throw. It's incredible stuff. Round three. And this was a bit unfortunate for Kohara. I mean, he gets his big opportunity on the international stage and has to go up against Grigolashvili in his third contest. Also, see that grip break? I mean, Kohara, he's got strong grips, but... I mean, Grigolashvili, he throws his entire body into breaking people's grips. Sometimes he'll basically jump into a squat just to break off people's grips. Looking for the big Makikomi there that he does so well. And the combination he throws Kohara with only scores Wazari, but it's a sensational combination. Looking for a grip around the belt, and here it is. I mean, come on, we're going to take several looks at this, but it's just ridiculous. So with Yagura, this technique that Greg Lashvili is trying to do, generally you do it on your opposite side, which is just hard enough as it is. Not only that, I mean... Even though he doesn't finish the throw, he's still able to chain things together. Goes for the Yagura, and then an Ochigari. Who does that? And then the Kosoto. I mean, such an incredible combination. Three-piece combo, as I like to call them. So that was the only score in this contest. The only contest for Grigolash really going the full distance. Most things ending with Ipon or two Wazaris. And that's the case in this one against... Tatalashvili, the quarterfinal. And really interesting what I'm seeing from Grigolashvili here is, I mean, this is left versus right, but Grigolashvili, he likes to take a cross grip over the top, which is pretty unique. Here it is there. So I guess he's trying to feed the sleeve, maybe. Yes, yeah, so he's trying to get that sleeve. He's trying to pull him in closer so he can grab the sleeve, I guess. But he also has some nice techniques from that cross grip as well, which you're going to see now. So pulling him in, feeding that cross grip, and then throwing the leg across for the big Ashiguruma. And just watch Tatalashvili, when he gets pulled in, you'll see his head go in front of his feet, which means he's off balance. And then he tries to recover, and the only way to recover is to go in that direction. And Grigolashvili read it and threw his foot across. Really sensational stuff, and looking for the Nenwaza too. So in the next sequence, Grigolashvili looking for that cross grip again, 
But Tatalash really, he's he's understood what's just happened, so he's going backwards this time. So Gregalash really jumped on that opportunity. I mean, sometimes judo just seems so simple. If someone's, you know, putting their weight backwards, you attack backwards. If someone's putting their weight forward, you go forwards. But as we all know, it's not that simple. Into the semi-finals now. Sam uses legs there to get rid of the grip. He's just so technical, using his whole body into everything he does. Not a good Tomoenage attempt there. This next sequence, kind of interesting. I want to know if they would actually give it a score. Not too sure. I mean, if you go to Nawaza, can you go back into Tachiwaza and then throw someone? That's, a, that's an awkward one. Big Kosotogake here from Grigalashvili. This time on the on the strong dominant side, his left side. So he can do the Yagura on the right and the Kosotogake or the Uranage on the left, but just a sensation weep on. So that puts him into the finals. He's up against Kavaleas from Germany, who I do not know. Just kind of saw him in the final and was like, oh okay, who was that? Didn't follow him on the day. Very lowly seated, apparently. Nice string of combinations there. Seoinage into the Stemiwaza. And then Grigalashvili, he just pours on the pressure. Looks for an Osoto. Goes on the side. And gets the... I guess it's Tewaza. Here we go again. It's just incredible. You don't see many people string techniques like this together. People often off balance, fall to the ground. But Grigalashvili, he's a, a man of combinations. It's great stuff. Alright guys, stay tuned for more. Peace out.